Okay, so welcome to this uh, 20th uh, lecture and uh, first we will begin with in soft note that is whatever we have done uh, I will uh, try to demonstrate nicely it has been prepared by Professor Obhishek Chatterjee and uh, I want to show you. In this diagram if you see this is the B distribution is not it? and uh, B distribution for a four pole machine. This four poles how they have been created? It has been created by there is winding on the stator and we have seen how to create four poles, two pole structure like that one quarter becomes south pole, one quarter become north pole, south pole etcetera. Therefore, these poles are created by the stator current. And now, on the rotor which is also an iron there are only suppose two slots. Now, uh, here is a conductor which is perpendicular to this uh, screen and the front end I call 1 and this is 1 dashed it is the front end call uh, that is the finish of this coil. So, there is a single coil. Why it is 90 degree not diametrically opposite? because whenever one is under center of the south pole it will become one dash must be under the center of the north pole. So, that you get 2 V L V voltage maximum voltage in this position neither of them are. So, 90 degree mechanical is the separation which electrically means 180 degree. So, outer uh, scale shows the mechanical angle and electrical angle scale is shown here. So, the coil span is 90 degree mechanical no doubt 90 degree mechanical 0 to 90, but it is electrically 180 degree mechanical and when this coil 1 coil side 1 moves by 360 degree mechanical you can easily see two cycles of EMF will be generated. So, this is the B distribution space this is called space in space B is changing like this if lines of force are entering to south pole I have assigned positive sign. So, only fundamental component we are thinking. So, B max sin omega t this equation is. Now, if this one one dashed coil can they move in different velocities no rotor if moves whatever velocity they are they have their position fixed in the slots therefore, they will move in th with the same velocity and in this uh, developed diagram uh, it looks like this linear diagrams. But I will not write x distance because it is all a angles I have to correlate with this figure. Now, if it is like this, this I will try to sketch what is the voltage across this across this conductor range. It could be a multiple turn conductor, several turns we have seen that. Anyway, this voltage 1 0. 0 is where at the back that is this point is uh, this is 1 this is 0 I am calling ok. This is 1 this is 0 this is 1 dash this is 0 because why this is 0 because it is at the same potential and this part of this overhang there is no voltage induced it is outside the machine poles this side. So, there will be no voltage induced assuming that. So, the potential of this point and this point are same that I am calling O and this is 1 this is 1 dashed. So, I will sketch uh, E 1 0 and I will sketch E 1 dash 0 and then the voltage across this turn E 1 1 dashed will be nothing but the difference of this two two waveforms. Okay. So, uh, le let us see what happens if this coil now moves relative to this field, field is stationary. So, let us see what happens 
as time passes E 1 0 will be same as B L V is not. Similarly, E 1 dash 0 will be only thing its polarity reverses same type as that of B it will go and the difference of these two is this. So, this is B L V this I have called the final voltage in that term I have written this will be half half. So, E max is the voltage across the coil 1 1 dashed that uh, uh, fundamental amplitude is E max. Therefore, each conductor 1 0 and 1 dash 0 must be half that should be 2. So, this is how things goes. Note that I have shown both the angles this is theta mechanical. Theta electrical is this will be 720 degree 90 degree is 180 degree. 180 degree is 360 degree. So, when the coil uh, makes a one mechanical rotation you get uh, two cycles of EMF one cycle of EMF is 180 degree. Therefore, this is how things goes on this is a very nice demonstration and you can uh, see uh, this expression also. Okay. Therefore, with this we will now come to our next topics you keep this uh, look at this uh, demonstration it will perhaps enhance your understanding. But in spite of all these things let us come to the lecture part uh, in spite of all this nice demonstration you should also mentally think what is going on. This is a good way a, a simple way to go back there, but I must also physically know what is happening ok on the coil side it is moving and things like that. So, this is the thing therefore, if I neglect the harmonic component and assume the voltage to be sinusoidal assuming B to be sinusoidal. like this. So, B max sin theta this is theta electrical then the voltage across the coil E 1 1 dash instantaneous value of the voltage will be also like this. this will be also sinusoidal which I am writing E max sin omega t which of course, E max is that root 2 into R m s value we have calculated sin omega t and this I will call it like this provided I have uh, started counting my time when 1 was here and it is moving towards right with an electrical speed of omega radian per second that is all. Okay. Now, uh, I mean very roughly sketching the things if you have a single coil say 1 1 dash I am sorry. Uh, in the rotor there is a single coil I will not draw the slots ok I will avoid drawing this this is suppose 1 dash this is 1 it means slots are there these are the coil sides etcetera and uh, uh, then uh, your south pole is here. So, one half of this is south pole and it is moving ok. Uh, it is suppose a two pole this is south this is suppose not and this is the RMS voltage. But what happens is this um, if you want to get a better voltage waveform your coil should be distributed better do not use a single coil 
you use a multiple coil a number of coils each one is housed in two pair of different slots and then connect them in series in which way it will help you one way is that mmf produced by these coils when they will carry current it will be more sinusoidal i told you it will become stepped and secondly the better utilization of this space so what i do is this i have suppose uh, a coil two pole structure i am drawing eh? one one dash and then i will connect another coil one one dash and this is two two dash and these two coils have their own separate identity with the terminals available to you suppose the angle uh, between them is beta some angle electrical angle all angles are electrical now so 1 1 dash and 2 2 dash now i know how to calculate the rms voltage induced in 1 1 dash and it will be sinusoidal rms voltage of 1 1 dash is root 2 pi phi phi then f where f is p n by 2 f phi into n n is the number of turns in one there it may be a multi turn coil and second coil is identical coil same number of turns then rms value of 2 2 dash will be equal to root 2 pi f and it is moving in uh, a field created by stator south north etcetera it is moving in that field so root 2 pi f phi into n so rms values will be same what will change what will be the difference between the quality of these two voltages nothing really magnitude e max remains same but only thing will change when peak value is attained in 1 1 dash the peak value of voltage you get in coil 2 2 dash that voltage will appear after this angle beta therefore induced voltage in coil 2 2 dash will simply lag the induced voltage 1 1 dash by some angle that is all. Henceforth no point in referring to this fundamental diagram drawing 2 2 dash moving trying to understand uh, what is happening which voltage is leading lagging this that I only picture this uh, scenario in this way and see the direction of notation and then I conclude if this is the voltage feathers of 1 1 dash in our feather diagram then E 2 2 dash will be lagging it by what angle? by the angle of separation between them that is the angle between these two slots that is beta. You know in case of drawing feather diagram this is how we draw. So, it has nothing to do with your rotation of uh, uh, rotor direction clockwise then why you are drawing not like that that is once the sinusoidal voltage I have got I can now invoke all the things which I have done in circuit theory because they are sinusoidal voltages time varying. So, 
So, if E 1 1 dash t is there E 2 2 dash will be there why because 1 1 dash this is 1 1 dash is there and rotor is rotating in this way and there is identical coil 2 2 dash housed in these two slots. So, whatever is happening to 1 1 dash now same thing is going to happen in 2 2 dash after this angle beta where time is there beta is the time uh, required by 2 2 dash to come to this position 1 1 dash it can be related with omega t. Therefore, uh, if this is the voltage phasor E 2 2 dash will be the voltage phasor of this second coil. Then if these two coils and this diagram shorthand uh, way of because after all let us now come out uh, from this uh, very complicated diagram stator rotor showing the coils ok coils are physical coils having two terminals 1 1 dash 2 2 dash only thing I should know how they are positioned in the machine and from that I have learned that this voltage is E 1 1 dash this is the feather plus minus and this is the voltage induced in the second coil 2 2 dash this is also a feather and this two if you now connect them in series and want to examine what is the voltage E 1 2 dash 1 to 2 dash then that's, that will be simply this one this is E 1 1 dash this is E 2 2 dash. So, add this two and get the resultant this will be E 1 2 dash RMS values the length this will be same because the coil is having same number of turns rotating with same velocity moving with same relative speed as 1 1 dash is doing. Therefore, everything remains same only thing whatever is happening to 1 1 dash now this is the feather diagram mind you feather diagram time feather diagram all feathers are moving with speed omega what is omega omega is angular electrical speed per second ok so so this is the scenario if that be the case then if you connect another coil suppose this is one one dash one coil multi turn n turn capital n turns there is another coil this 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 makes one coil this is two two dash another coil connect another coil 3 3 dash and suppose the angle between them is all beta this is also beta this is also beta then how to find out the so there are now three coils 1 1 dash number of turns n number of turns n 2 2 dash number of turns is n 3 3 dash and all these suppose are connected in series so this voltage is e 1 1 dash this voltage is e 2 2 dash plus minus plus minus and this voltage is e 3 3 dash plus minus so resultant voltage which will now be available only free terminals available is 1 and 3 dash. So, so this voltage plus minus E 1 3 dash this feather will be 
So, so first let me draw the feather this is E 1 1 dash oh E 2 2 dash is lagging E 1 1 dash by this angle beta. So, this is this voltage E 2 2 dash and E 3 3 dash is lagging by another angle same angle beta it could be different angle then also I will be uh, there is no problem, but let us assume that they are equally spaced like this. Then what is the resultant voltage? Resultant voltage will be E 1 1 dash plus E 2 2 dash. So, better way of showing the resultant voltage because draw a one parallelogram then that resultant with E 3 3 dash it is much elegant way of showing the resultant is the E 1 1 dash. Now, to this you add E 2 2 dash such that this angle is beta I will draw it uh, because space is not there. So, it will be better you would draw it like this E 1 1 dash then you add this voltage E 2 2 dash this angle is beta and then with respect to E 2 2 dash E 3 3 dash is lagging once again by the same angle E 3 3 dash and the resultant voltage will be the starting to the finishing point that is E 1 3 dash this voltage will be this length. Each coil the this length, this length and this length are all equal. Suppose, uh, I want to generate a certain RMS voltage in a machine okay. and I found out that I require 120 turns. And this RMS voltage can be obtained by by only taking two slots and accommodating all the turns here. All hundred twenty turns. That is one one dash. 2 2 dash and 3 3 dash each one of them should have 40 turns and they are all connected in this concentrated this is called concentrated winding not distributed. In that case what is the problem? Problem is that so much of rotor space is remains under utilized. So, if coil 1 1 dash 2 2 dash and 3 3 dash each one of them is having n turns n turns n turns that is total number of turns are 3 n turns I am using to get a voltage across 1 and 3 dash. Now, suppose somebody says uh, you concentrate all the forget about this 120 turns 3 n turns you concentrate here all the coils you concentrate in these positions. In that case, E 1 1 dash, E 2 2 dash and E 3 3 dash they will be in phase. So, 1 1 dash, 2 2 dash, 3 3 dash all are concentrated in two slots only diametrically provided you have enough space there let us assume. So, if this thing rotates all these coil sides belonging to 1 1 dash 2 2 dash 3 3 dash they will have similar voltage voltages will be in phase that is why 1 1 dash 2 2 dash 3 3 dash will be phase 
and therefore, ultimately two terminals comes out and resultant voltage will be E 1 3 dashed. So, in a concentrated coil all the voltages are in phase and obviously, this length and this lengths are all equal. I am just imagining okay, instead of distributing like this all the turns here this coil you put in this slot two terminals 1 1 dash second coil all the turns you put put here only 3 3 dash also you put. So, you have put all together 3 n coils and then connect them in series 1 1 dash 2 2 dash 3 3 dash and it is then moving in a magnetic field therefore, each one of them will have same RMS voltage their lengths are same, but they will be also in time phase whenever maximum occurs to this coil sites it will occur to all the coil sites belonging to coil 1, 2 and 3 similarly this fellow. Therefore, if each of this coil gives a certain voltage obviously, this, this length O suppose suppose I call this length to be C D and here this length suppose I called E F. Obviously, E F is greater than E F is greater than C D is not obvious reason because this you are not adding in phase. So, some voltage is always lost. So, this length is less than this length. So, you will get reduced voltage. Therefore, it looks like I want to utilize the periphery of the rotor. Uh, I then say ok you do that, but you get a reduced voltage with same number of turns I could get more voltage if uh, coils were concentrated that is the idea, but still we go for distributed coils the reason is clear reason is clear ok little voltage will be lost we will find out an expression for that in the later time of the course, but the argument is ok this loss in voltage perhaps can be uh, managed compensated by better increasing the uh, strength of the south pole north pole on the stator by increasing their excitation a bit, but you get a better utilization of the coil. And second point is if you want to generate a large voltage large turns will be required how can you accommodate all those turns in only a pair of slots not at all a practical solution. Therefore, we will use always distributed winding and try to improve upon the nature of B when these coils will carry current they will produce B let it be more like as looks like a sinusoid and also it is understood that once you distribute the coils voltage loss will take place, but that voltage loss can be compensated by some other means like okay, little bit of excitation will increase. Thank you.